As I say to everybody at work on this day, happy Friday Eve. Woohoo! But more importantly, happy food and wine. First day of food and wine festival 2023. We'll sing the song once we're there, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But before we actually get too much into this vlog, we're gonna put in what we thought was gonna be a vlog yesterday because we have some big news. Yeah, but it turned into like a joyously wonderful chaotic day. Yeah, with a literal three minute trip, actually it's probably like seven minute trip to the Magic Kingdom, <laughs> literally from Walked the time in. we bumped in. Walked out. Out. Happy Wednesday from Celebration, Florida. Good morning. We have a day of appointments, and so I actually took the day off work, starting with that little girl over there. So we have speech therapy. We have Sarah had her follow-up scan this morning. I'll give her let her give the details, but we think it went well. Um, we'll get the actual call later, and then uh, Sarah also has acupuncture later. So between all that, I was like, you know, I'm just gonna take the day. So we've got an hour here, almost an hour and a half between Sarah's appointment at Celebration and James's speech therapy. So, we're in Celebration just walking around. We have some breakfast snacks for the boys, so we're gonna try to find someone to let them run around, get some wiggles out between appointments, and snack on some food. You see a doggy? Wow. Oh gosh, the squirrel is eyeing our breakfast. You're a cheeky little squirrel. A sandwich. Mmm. PB and J. Well, it's actually almond butter <laughs> and A B and J. So my ultrasound went great. Like it was so relieving because the tech even was like, "Oh, looks good." Before she even measured anything. Um, so it appeared the way it needs to for transfer. I forget the exact word. It's called like trilameter. That might not be the right word. I'll put the right word here. But basically, like you want to see like three lines and basically just like shows the difference in like how plush the lining is um and then like the average size was about like 7.75 and over the phone when i talked to them two days ago they wanted above seven um and really by the time of transfer i think they want between like eight and twelve um and so i did see a couple of eights they like do an average so now we just wait for blood work again, but like this was the first hurdle that like, even if the blood work was great, the ultrasound needed to like be physically at a certain spot. So um, that's a huge relief. Great start to our busy day. Bittersweet part is walking past this splash pad and it turning on in the morning because it's a beautiful morning, but Jamesy wants to go play and he's got speech in 20 minutes. Yeah, we only have like 15 minutes before we gotta go. Jamesy, come on this way. We're just gonna stroll Main Street real quick and then hop in the car. Oh, it's closed, but... Code orange. Look at all the, Chris, the Halloween. Yeah, spooky apple. I wanna come back. I wanna come back after it's open. Yeah. It's Halloween time. James picked the perfect time to start to be obsessed with pumpkins and ghosts. Cat, yeah. I have to show you guys something Sarah demands. Ooh, old St. Nick. Also, we've been in very much like Gilmore Girls fall, autumn mm -hmm. vibe, and we're walking through this like very picturesque, like Downtown. quaint version of Stars Hollow. Right, and this music playing, mm -hmm. I feel like is, is that era. And like, it might even be in like episode two of Gilmore Girls. Right, right. Already we're done with speech. We'll head home for a little bit, and then I have acupuncture. which is like right down the road from uh, my acupuncturist. It was 
another great session. I think like, I don't know if it's just like because I don't do as much like this. I don't have as much like relaxing time now being a parent. I don't know, I feel like maybe, maybe my body just needs it more. Um, I don't know, I just feel like every session I'm just like, that was a great session. Ooh, spilled a little bit. I got this like little peach green tea and a little pastry. Um, I was just a little hungry going in there right at noon and just like, I really had like breakfast and snack this morning, but I didn't realize like by this time I'd be so hungry. So got this little snack, then head home. Um, yeah, I just feel good. We're gonna get as much rest before the frozen embryo transfer as possible. That was like my homework. Um, and I'm still waiting on the call. I did see my blood work came in and I'm like, as far as like my knowledge goes, it looks like the progesterone and the estrogen are right where they should be. So we'll see what they say. Hopefully they'll call soon. Sarah, what are you making? Um, Greek bowls, but fast, like quick version. Where are our children? And they went down basically the same time. Yeah. I took James for a drive in the car, Sarah put Teddy down mm -hmm. and they fell asleep. So what did Sarah and I do? We, we did just, nothing. we did nothing in the loft. We just put on like a Ted mm -hmm. Lasso, um, like soundtrack, soundtrack on, on Spotify and just laid on the, in the, in the couch in the loft for about an hour. really big news. Yes, but that's why I want to bust the camera out. What's the big news? We got our transfer day. We are, so everything looked great today for the ultrasound, blood work. Um, we're ready. So tonight we're doing a trigger shot, which makes sure that I ovulate. And then in a week, sorry, my hair is like cut. I thought that was gonna be faster. We'll, I'll have like a pre-op appointment Friday, start progesterone on Saturday, and then transfer on Wednesday. Wow. I'm gonna do acupuncture before and after. It's go time. Here are our bowls. It's spinach and the cauliflower rice with lemon juice and salt. A little bit of leftover roasted veggies from the other night. And then top with falafel, some tomatoes. I'm gonna salt and pepper those up. Pickles, a little bit of red pepper hummus. And then I also made a little mayo pickle juice dill situation. They were just like dipping. It's a stormy evening, but we're in. The Earhart's are in a minivan on the way here, and Sarah's on an ACS run Disney committee call. Yeah, I'm still in the process of getting the Bluetooth. Do you need help with the Bluetooth? How fun is that to be part of the run Disney ACS committee and taking the monthly conference call in the Magic Kingdom? But we have some diapers to change, and then we're gonna get strolling to some fun rides. <laughs> well, one of our quickest trips to Magic Kingdom because Sarah and I are goofballs. We literally left after 6 p.m. to make sure that I would do my trigger shot before we left. And we didn't do the trigger shot. We didn't shots. do it. We got, we got here and I'm changing James's diaper. And then I was like, oh no, I don't think we brought the trigger shot with us. I text Sarah and she's like, nope. I'm like, okay, well we gotta go home because it has to get done before eight. I'm just like, I'm flabbergasted. <laughs> like I'm literally, like I'm really want Peter to stay. Guess what, we live here. If it, was a, if it was earlier, I'd be more animated about you just staying. Yeah, I agree. But like, you'd be going home and do the shot just to come back and pick us up. So we're going to stay well, as a family. Boys have but it's also about to rain. So we're going to be together and have a cozy, rainy home night. So well, we didn't show them because it was just a, like a quick hello, hi, how are you? Haven't seen you for days. But we did see the Earhearts. We were meeting them up here. Matching outfits on. Yes, well, we should get the, the picture from Carolyn so you can put it in the vlog. Then we can show up proof that we saw them. Do you them. want to know how mad I am? But do you want to know how happy I am that we get to do a trigger shot today? But you want to know what? I'd be more mad if we realized it at like midnight. Temple. I really don't think like the four hours will be super effective, but we are extreme rule followers. And I know that would weigh, right? And I know that that would weigh on our hearts if we didn't get into as close as possible to the window. The lights went on. Yay! So, so we're back at the monorail. Yeah, I wanted, we like we're always at Epcot. We're always at Hollywood Studios with the airlines. Like, it's like Magic Kingdom, nighttime magic. 
Like, how is this even a vlog? Like, what is this even gonna Maybe this will go into tomorrow. Even though we said no more two putters, but maybe they will. Huh, the boys have some candies and some goldfish. What was that? Was that the first instance ever of this being like guilty parent purchase for kids? Yeah. So I just beating yourself up. Even, like, I think she needs to make flurry to shake it. I haven't been like this angry. <laughs> I don't know, it's just like so vacation is so special. Nice. You only get so much time with the airport. Just finished that thought that we started in the Polynesian. Um, I feel bad that we like carted them all the way here to get into Magic Kingdom to have to turn around because it was like just a little taste and then we had to leave. And then also like the Earhart's only vacation here so many times. We only get, you know, our life is busy. We we don't get to see them every day of their trip. And I was really looking forward to it. Like I was like looking forward to this night. I don't know, a lot. And so I'm really sad. Um, but we'll go home and we'll do our trigger shot. And it's like for good reason, like we said, it would have been a lot worse had we realized at the end of the night. Um, or at a time where it would have been that that how do you say the word detrimental detrimental to like moving forward with transfer so i'm about to show it but there's no needle exposed so but here we go here it is we got it ready we got our sharps container to put it in afterwards got our alcohol swab let's get our sugar shot going right teddy got chicken nugget he's being chased by evie <laughs> so I'm schlepping a, a, a big old bag here with my work laptop in it because it's only one o'clock. Yeah, so Peter's gonna finish up work. He's on his lunch. I'm meeting up with the Earhart's. James is asleep. Teddy is just snacking away. So it is it is raining, but it's probably not gonna. It might have already stopped. It was just one of those Florida ones. Yeah, but um, Sarah's gonna join in on the food and wine front of the Earhart's before I arrive. Yes. But it'll just be a quick four hours just, and then quick. Uh, I'll get to join them. Bellevue Lounge opening up at 4 p.m. is actually a blessing because that means for the next four hours, or at least three hours, close to three hours, this should be relatively empty, which means this is my office for the day. This is one of the reasons why I love the remote lifestyle. Hmm. I'm with the Earhart's and we're looking for Remy. They're doing a little scavenger hunt. Oh, I see him. Can I see your little hide and squeak? So cute. Oh. Alrighty, James is awake, waiting patiently. <laughs> Teddy is <laughs> on the loose. All right, guys. Are you nervous now? Come on, honey. Oh gosh. For having a love of Snow White in their veins, the boys were not thrilled about meeting her. So I just put down the camera and hold both. I'll put in the photo here. They were a little grumpy and sleepy, but it was still a memorable first meeting. I think I don't think they've ever met Snow White before. Uh, but now we're headed into the outpost, which I'm happy because the refreshment outpost has the gift tree I always like. <laughs> so usually this is at the Kenya booth, but this time it's over here. I, I lo that's one of my favorite food and wine dishes. to the troll. Do you want to give him a high five? Happy. Stinky? Stinky feet. These boys are taking a little refuel in baby care. We need a little air conditioning refuel, maybe a snooze for this one. Okay, so we have refueled from that AC. It was very needed. Um, Teddy is thinking like he's gonna take a snooze, um, but the Earhart kids are in the playground, so I'm gonna let James play for a little bit. 
one of the Earhart kids ran up, so I let um, Jamesy go play with them at the little playground um, over by Creations. But I just got something from the fry basket. I got the fried pickles. And this fry flight, there's salt and vinegar. This one's like a barbecue bacony. And looks like cinnamon sugar. something here but I didn't enter the, through the front so maybe there's a bigger display with me taking yesterday off which was like unexpected but not unexpected um, I pushed like most of my meetings I was supposed to have yesterday to today and so that meant I just had literally meetings from 9 a.m. until 5 minus like me squeezing in a little lunch there to drive over to property so I'm walking to the car now to drop off my my work bag with my laptop and cell phone and everything and then I'm gonna go meet up with Sarah and the boys and get some food and wine, food and wine. All right, so we're all split. The Earhart's are gonna go do a dining service somewhere. They're getting that figured out now, but we're all gonna have a quick drink and relax at Abacadabra bar again before we part ways for the evening. The other day we saw five turtles and five ducks. So we're on the lookout for more critters. I got quack, 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 quack. Oh, look at all these other ducks. Six ducks. So <laughs> this is this is days later. That vlog you just watched was Wednesday and Thursday. Jay-Z's watching us so cutely. Like he's our biggest fan. Okay, anyways. He is our biggest fan. Yes. The vlog was a little herky jerky. It was like a vlog of almost. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> I like that. that. That should be the title. Yeah. Um, but the biggest thing that wasn't an almost was that we got our frozen embryo transfer. So it was a win, but like that was a little bit chaotic of a vlog. We did get a night at Magic Kingdom with the Earhearts. Mm -hmm. We'll have plenty more days at Food and Wine. Um, but thanks for watching that yeah, <laughs> that funky vlog. <laughs> and we started our um, PIO shots today. Just joining oil. Um, and our transfer is in. So that's great. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me. It's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>